Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel. That can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Question. A YouTube of length L contains a liquid. It is mounted on a horizontal turn table rotating with the angular speed omega about one of the arms. The difference in height between the liquid column in the vertical arm will be here we have given four options option a omega square l square upon 2g option b omega square upon 2g option c omega square by 2g and option d omega square g by 2l in this question we are using two concepts first concept pascal's law and second centripetal force what says the pascal's law on the gravitational effect when excess pressure or pressure difference is equal to h rho g and centripetal force, you know that very well, mv square by r. So here in this question, we have given this is u2 and length of the base that is l. And this is rotating of the one arm like this. As you know that when any object, any liquid which is we have to rotating, then some pressure, some pressure is applied because lower part like this, it is moving and lower part become decreases and this part is increases. And so therefore, the excess pressure here, pressure is applied on this uh, liquid and cause of this here the second arm the liquid of second arms that is rising okay now first of all we have considered mass element that is dm and its width is dx and applied centripetal force what is centripetal force f equal to m v square by r then uh, m v linear velocity and angular velocity what is the relation that is v equal to omega r so here substitute this value omega r square upon r then f equal to m omega square r square upon r then r r cancel f equal to m omega square r okay now this concept we have using for this uh, mass element so here centripetal force let us consider df because it's mass element so therefore small amount of force will be applied on it so therefore we have here written df is it okay and mass that is dm and omega square and what is the distance from this end that is x so here we have written x is it okay and what is the relation between the force and the pressure so here pressure force is equals to pressure into area here mass element so therefore we are we have written dp and dm dm means mass element then uh, density rho cross section area is a and dx is the width of this mass element omega square x then dp is equal to here a a cancel out then pressure dp is equal to rho and uh, omega square x dx here applying integration here p1 and p2 here the limit that is 0 to L, total length 0 to L. Then dp can be written as p, upper limit p2, p1, rho omega square, that is a constant term. So therefore, it put the out of integration 0 to L, x dx. Okay, so here p2 minus p1 is equal to rho omega square x can be written as integration of x square by 2 0 to l here p2 minus p1 delta p rho omega square l square by 2 as we know that by using pascal's concept here pressure change in pressure equal to rho h and g so here it is here we have written small h Okay, rho h g is equal to rho omega square l square by 2. Here, rho, rho cancel out. Then, it can be written as h equal to omega square l square by 2 g. It is our answer. Let's see which option is matched here. Omega square l square by 2 g. That is the first option is matching here. And I hope so. You understood this question. 
Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely, when you will become success, full contribution goes to your hard work. But if my videos, my lectures, my questions will help in your success, I will consider myself lucky. Please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye.